Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Tuesday's end of day trading session, the uh, 17th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the actual numbers for today then in terms of uh, European markets, the market close. We have a European market certainly mixed, FTSE finishing down 20 points. I'll certainly elaborate as to why. We have the German DAX finishing just about up positive 8. French CAC under pressure down 9. Uh, FTSE MIB finishes uh, higher, whilst the IBEX under pressure still with Catalonia concerns. Okay, so in terms of uh, economic data, let's quickly go through that. Economic data wise, we start the day. Asian markets more or less higher overnight, certainly helping sentiment to a large extent. The Nikkei still uh, maintaining that uh, bullish stance. Let's quickly bring up the Nikkei for you. The Nikkei is very important if you are looking at intermarket analysis and trading. Uh, daily chart certainly has put in a doji though, so just bear that in mind. Okay, uh, again, you can see the roar. Uh, it's absolutely roaring at the moment. So the weekly chart, Nikkei, you can uh, see that we've broken above the previous high. Uh, very, very impressive. Let's go to the monthly chart, the Nikkei. Okay, you, you can see that we've broken up past the 20,920 and the next potential resistance now is 22,700. So interesting scenario there with regards to the Nikkei helps certainly help in the USD JPY as well. Okay, so keep an eye on the Nikkei, certainly looking for weakness uh, in order for European and US markets to turn. Uh, daily chart certainly is showing you one sign of, the, uh, one sign of weakness, which is the doji uh, candle. And let's see how the market transpires from there. In terms of the Asian markets of Shanghai, uh, Chinese market certainly could have starting to turn south now, especially with Mr. Zeping, obviously his conference as well. Uh, it's in, been interesting thus far. Certainly has been a thrust, very, very impressive one at that. Okay. In terms of um, economic data then, so uh, certainly looking at data. Uh, today we had uh, the UK inflation figures coming in slightly uh, lower than expected. Certainly not as high as everybody had expected. Uh, German ZEW data certainly came in weaker. Uh, EU uh, ZEW data came in weaker, but EU, uh, EU CPI or inflation data certainly came in stronger and therefore obviously raises concerns with regards to ECB Q pro program going forward. Okay, hence the reason why we actually see a witness day move on the Euro GBP certainly pushing higher. Although Mr. Carney was certainly hawkish and we have had several other members indicating that uh, uh, Brexit uh, in uncertainty is now actually hurting investment and certainly certainly will uh, certainly will going forward as well so again that certainly is impacting the market and that's what sent the FTSE 100 lower as well obviously the lack of investment coming into the UK certainly is risk negative also stronger inflation data from Europe certainly is risk negative okay so uh, stronger inflation generally means that the uh, ECB will certainly taper quicker than expected uh, there already is talk this morning with regards to a 2.5 trillion target already hit 2.2 trillion so certainly more isn't much left and they certainly need some firepower if the market starts to turn south again that certainly is something that they want to keep their power to drive for. Okay, so that's the status quo. Let's look at the German DAX now. In terms of the uh, market itself, daily chart certainly has been struggling to get ever since it went past 13,000 or approaching 13,000. Uh, daily chart certainly is um, a sluggish as well. It's not exactly convincing when you have two doji candles, okay, for uh, failing to break past that key psychological barrier. 60 minute chart certainly is showing you resistance here now as well. Okay, so uh, again, look for key resistance here. We do have this rising type contracting wedge pattern. Again, like I said, looking for a break lower. Okay, German DAX certainly is starting to show weakness. 10 minute chart, intraday double top as well, and now starting to reverse. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's quickly look at the FTSE. Let's see where we stand here. Okay, so daily chart at the moment, certainly holding resistance, certainly looking for a reversal, especially with Mr. Carney's talk of uh, maintaining his hockey stance. Uh, I've certainly gone short on the FTSE 100 now, looking for target of 7385 on the uh, 60 minute HS formation. We've got the head here, okay, 7565 minus the next, 7525. You're looking at a target of, let me just get this adjusted, should be 7485, okay, so looking for 7485 on the downside, looking for a 40 point drop, okay. Uh, 7490 really is, you do have support around the 7490 zone, and then if you do continue to flush, then you are looking at 7460. Uh, so from my perspective, certainly looking for weakness on the FTSE 100 today. Okay, and uh, let's see how the market unfolds from there. 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100. Again, you've got intraday double top there, 7550. Certainly has been rejected. From my understanding, we're certainly looking to potentially test that 7506 level again. And let's see how the market certainly unfolds from there. Okay, uh, in terms of the next uh, index, let's look at the French CAC here, folks. Okay, French CAC again. 
If inflation numbers are rising in Europe, that certainly is buried from my understanding and my interpretation, and certainly looking for a potential flush or a move lower. We failed to close that gap at 5400, uh, and certainly looking for weakness on the French CAC. 60 minute chart, uh, again, made a lower high, okay. Uh, if anything, you've got a HNS formation here now as well, okay. So again, there, uh, your right shoulder, and off you down you go, okay. So you're looking for a flush right back down to uh, five three hundred. That will be my initial target on the French CAC on the downside. So five three hundred, looking for a move lower. Okay. Uh, again, let's look at the euro stocks. Last but not least, euro stocks certainly into uh, key resistance here now at um, uh, five six fifteen five six twenty sixty minute chart. As you can see here, we've built a wall now at three uh, three six twenty. Certainly unable to break through. 10 minute chart as well. You're looking at intraday double top and looking for resistance. And you can see we, we flushed quite hard going into the close. So, for my interpretation, stronger inflation numbers certainly means it's certainly bearish. Okay. Stronger inflation numbers certainly is bearish for the uh, euro stocks. Okay. Looking for a potential thrust lower. Okay. For uh, in terms of uh, lack of QE, uh, reduced QE, and therefore it certainly is bearish for global equities and European equities in particular. Okay. So you look for the Euro USD certainly to uh, appreciate, okay, unless obviously Mr. Trump's pulls a party, okay, bear that in mind as well, but certainly looking for a flush in European equities. Okay, I think that's a good summation really uh, of the uh, fact that Mr. Carney certainly is hawkish, ECB is now hawkish, looking for the dollar to start to move lower, that's my interpretation, uh, looking for GBP and Euro to move higher, dollar certainly looking to move lower. Okay, uh, be sure to visit TradeSignal and take advantage of the, uh, the actual bonus with CFDs.com. Goodbye now.